You're listening to Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick in association with Wexford Insurances. Challenge us at Wexford Insurances, 0818 31 30 30. My first guest this morning is Maura O'Donoghue from the Kiora Mini Farm in Gorey, which is celebrating 21 years in business this year. Before we start on Kiora Mini Farm, I'd like to learn a little bit about your own background, please, Maura. Well, I'm from a place called Buffers Alley, and my name was Kavanagh. And I met Paddy and uh, we got married and then we bought here the year we were married or so and moved down. And we have reared uh, three boys and tried to start a business. I'd done bed and breakfast for 32 years and uh, moved on little by little and then started the mini farm. Where did the idea for Kiora Mini Farm come from? I had a phone call one day from a friend of mine that wanted to bring uh, children out to see young calves and uh, I asked him where he was going and uh, he said, well, they never saw them other than through the window of a car. So he came out and they loved it and uh, after that then I put on my thinking cap and thought there were nothing in the rural countryside to, for them to see other than through the window of a car and I decided that I would look into it and went to Tembe to a farm in Tembe and got ideas there and came back and started my own farm. So that was 21 years ago, ever before the day of the internet out there and much harder to research I suppose a sector like that. How did you come about finding the mini farm in Tembe? I can't remember really how how I got it. Um, I really don't know. Uh, somebody must have told me and we just went over on the boat and spent the day there and uh, got a great lot of information from the girl there and she said to me that if we were thinking of doing it to make sure that it was weatherproof, that we'd have something for a wet day and uh, not to have it all outdoors. So we took that on board and we have a couple of sheds now for the indoor uh, of a wet day and uh, our sandpit is covered in and it's quite OK for a wet day. So I know that, look, with the weather conditions we have here in Ireland, it makes it an all-around business by having a roof over your head in terms of the mini farm outside. So when you came back from Tembe, tell me, what did you do after that? Uh, well, I tried to uh, get my family to see what I was thinking, but none of them would. Thought, they thought, all thought I was mad, which I probably was at the time. And uh, I w- went and sourced money myself and um, got it and started. And uh, having the guest house at the time, I knew I could pay ba- back my repayments and uh, got my re- repayments paid back in five years. And then I stopped the guest house. So with the borrowed money, what did you spend it on? I was hoping to put up a, a attached um, coffee shop, but of course that didn't materialise. So it was only a shed for a coffee shop and put up another shed outside and done some paddocks and all that. And then every year after that we'd done some little thing to it. Year after year there was something done at it, let it be little or big. After five years with Kiora Mini Farm up and running, you then stopped the guest house, you closed the guest house down at that stage and put all your effort and energy into the business. I know that two of your sons are involved as well. How involved are they today? Two years ago, uh, Padraig took over um, as things are going here now. He was a carpenter and he took it over two years ago. And I suppose we kept him at home now from going to Canada or Australia or somewhere. And then Peter gives him a hand as well. He has employed Peter. And uh, our grandchildren are involved in it. And they love coming up for the few hours now and again to give us a hand. And myself and Paddy, we keep try to keep the boat going and uh, unpaid guests, of course. And... Uh, uh, but sure, everything helps and you have to try and do it now with the recession and it's going very well and we can't complain. Tell me over the years, what has worked in terms of building the business? Because look, you, you had an idea, you went to Tembe, you did your research, uh, you got some great insight into how they were running their business in Tembe. You came back, you borrowed the money, you put in place the relevant uh, infrastructure in terms of shed, cafe, paddocks and everything else. The hard part, you might say, was done at that stage. But in most cases, the business is only beginning because you have to attract people in. What did you do and what worked in terms of getting people to come in and actually visit the farm? Well, we wrote to the schools uh, to try and get some school tours. And uh, it took a couple of years to get that off the ground. But uh, we got that off the ground and we still have schools coming back to us for 
19 years, the same schools year after year. And then we didn't have any money to advertise, so uh, we couldn't advertise on radio. Or We got some flyers done and we put out the flyers and uh, it was more or less word of mouth. That's what kept us going. And we didn't, we ha- couldn't afford to advertise in papers or anything like that at the time because we didn't have the money. The money that we had, we put back into it, not into advertising. So it, it did pay off in the end. In the area that you're based yourself in Gorey, I know there's lots of hotels and caravan parks and guest houses. How supportive were all of those? Very supportive now. Probably they were afraid in the beginning of what we had, but they're all very supportive now. We uh, get a lot of, there's a lot of houses and a lot of um, mobile homes and that, and we get the same people back year after year. They come back to us. So there's a repeatability factor as well that's here with your own business? Very much so, very much so. We actually have grannies coming back now with grandchildren that they had their own children here. And uh, we're starting on that now with the grannies coming back with the grandchildren. How far are people travelling to Kiara Mini Farm? We have them from Dublin, Kilkenny, Carlow, Waterford. Uh, I suppose it's only an hour now from Dublin, so we get a lot of Dublin people would come down for the day and they would bring a picnic with them. We encourage people to bring their picnics with them and uh, people will come with their picnics maybe about 11, 12 o'clock and they'll stay till half four, five o'clock in the evening. From a disability perspective, is a Kiora Mini Farm accessible for those with disabilities? Is there wheelchair access throughout? Yes, there is. Uh, it's all wheelchair access and we do have, we can supply a wheelchair as well. And the fire engine is even wheelchair friendly. Tell me about this fire engine. Well, three of the lads went to an auction in Enniscorthy for a fire for something else, for a dump truck. And they came home with two fire engines. And uh, we got customised then. It holds uh, 24 and uh, it can put in two wheelchairs. So it's going very, very well. What's the fire engine being used for now? Everybody's brought on a trip on the fire engine. It takes about uh, just 10 minutes to go down through the forestry and back up. And uh, there's a little small television on it. And there's a sing song uh, on your way down and they have that in such a way now that it runs for the length of time that they're going down and back. You mentioned earlier that you're constantly working on adapting the facility outside to improve it. Uh, What have you done there in recent years that has worked very well in that regard? The year before last, Padraig, we have been talking about putting up a maze for years and our land down here is not very good. So Padraig came up with the idea the year before last uh, and he designed a maze himself. Friendly maze, shall we say. Uh, There's no hedging. It's all knitting instead of hedging and it works very well because you can see the children in it and if a child gets lost, um, it can see the parents and then we have a slide down out of it, so it's working very well. Is there much of a seasonality aspect to your own business? We did start with just June, July and August and then uh, we tried to, I got the idea of trying to do something for se- seasonal and we started then on Easter and we used to open at Easter and do the Easter egg run and bunnies and that and then a couple of years, I think about two years after we opening, I start, got this idea of doing Santa Claus. I know that Wexford Local Development have been advertising farm diversification grants there in recent times. How supportive have Wexford Local Development and Leader been of your own facility? Yes, Podrick was uh, successful in getting a grant off of Leader for a solar photovoltaic system. And uh, he got a grant for the um, maze as well. So, you know, he's looking into it now to try and see if there's another couple of bob to come out of that. And uh, it does make a big difference to get it if, you can, if, it, if it's possible. Have you seen much of a difference in your electricity costs since the solar photovoltaic system has been introduced? We have indeed. There was a big difference at Christmas was when we saw the big difference because there's thousands and thousands of lights here at Christmas and uh, our bill was less than half this year and which was fantastic. So all the wind and the sun can keep us going hopefully. What's the plan for Kiora Mini Farm over the next few years? Well Padre, I always was one that I always thought uh, way way in advance and I'm afraid he's the same and I'd nearly be afraid to ask him what he had in his head at the moment uh, but he, he is uh, trying to make a a forest walk now that will be up and coming in the next couple of years and God knows what else he has in his head and I know he has plenty in his head but definitely there will be something done every year 
let it be little or much, but there will be something done every year to improve it and to keep it going. Well, it's certainly a great success story for County Wexford, and I'd like to take this opportunity to wish both yourself and your family continued success in the future with the Kiora Mini Farm. You're listening to Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick in association with Wexford Insurances. Think Wexford Insurances for your business insurance.